what is up and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Adonica Molina I am a 21 year old youtuber who makes lifestyle vlogs and travel vlogs and if you're an old subscriber hi welcome back and for today's video as you can see in the title I'll be sharing with you my February favorites so Ito yung pinaka first time kong mag-share sa inyo na favorite. Although yung vlog mas ko December, share ako sa inyo yung favorites ko ng November, but hindi na sumunod yon. And I really want to share everyone about kung ano mga stuff yung mga binibili ko o yung mga things sa favorite ko na hindi na old stuff na siya, but since favorite ko parin siya that month, so I really want to share with you guys. And I know. Lots of YouTubers really upload this like first week palang or first day palang ng month na susunod. But for me, okay lang kasi na sabi ko gusto ko ishare sa inyo lahat ng mga bagay na meron ako in the month of February. So without further ado, let's just start the video. So my first items in my February favorites is this Maybelline Superstay Matte Lipstick. I really really love this kasi meron ako Una, last year ko pa siya na purchase because it really stays on your lips. So I got the three shades. One is the Pioneer, yeah, the red one, and one is Seductress, and third one is Lover. Insan mini mix match ko sila. Like this one, I mix with the red one, or this one, I mix with the pink one. So. It really stays on your lips buong araw, even when you eat. But sometimes it really like pabawasan naman siya na onte. And I super super love it. Ginagamit ko to when I have a long day sa labas, when I don't have time na mag lip gloss, mag lipstick. I mean yung parang todo trabaho sa labas. So ito yung ginagamit ko na lipstick. And it really super stay in your lips. And gusto ko sana ng bigyan to ng review, just because I really want to be transparent. I want to be honest with this product. And Maybelline is just my favorite since elementary, since high school. Ako I use Maybelline products. I use Maybelline na foundation before. I use their lipstick. I use their eyeliner. I mean, favorite ko yung brand ng Maybelline. And I just want to say na. Siguro, pag-iisipan ko yung review nitong mga matte lipsticks na to and I'll be uploading in my blog. So please guys, check out my blog if you have time. And dun ko talaga i-upload what is my review with this super matte ink ng Maybelline. So yeah. So next is meron akong dalawang moisturizer na bile. And uh, kasi patagal ng patagal this year is nagiging mainit na dito sa Philippines as you can see na nararamdaman natin dito sa Philippines. I mean, super init na ngayon and nagde-dry yung skin ko. And minsan, if kunwari meron akong uh, event sa labas, when I do my uh, foundation, when I have my foundation in my face, if I have full makeup in my face, I mean, naluluso siya agad because of the init. And I really like to have a moisturizer na parang pwede ko siyang on the go dalhin. So I have two. I have this Lux Organics that I got from Watson and Vian. Ayan, Vian. Face and Body Spray. And it's so good. Ito muna Evian yung i-review ko. I mean, it's so good kasi itong Evian, pang sensitive skin na siya because it has a baby for baby. Ayan. Kasi diba merong, merong product sila na Evian na parang hindi siya pang baby. This is for the sensitive skin. And I believe na yung skin ko talaga is very, very sensitive. So, ito talaga yung kinuha ko. But, hindi ko to dinadala every single day kasi it's a big bottle. Wala silang maliit. Although, they have maliit. But this one, I really want to try this from baby. And it's super good. Hindi ko lang alam. Hindi ko pa kasi na kikita yung difference nila ng pang baby or what. Pero, kasi ito, pag baby, ang ginamit mo is 
it's like you have a sensitive skin. So, ito talaga yung pinili ko. And I use this before and after ako mag makeup. Kasi, it really lasts long in my face. Doon ko na realize na, oh nga no, may kilang may mist tayo sa face natin. So, I don't really use yung mga matatapang na mist. So, tinitig ko talaga yung ingredients niya. And this one is just a water. I know it's just a water. Pero, it really lasts long my full coverage makeup with this. And the other one is the aloe vera with vitamin C. As I said kanina, it's from the Lux Organics and it's 98% aloe vera with vitamin C. It's a vitamin water that I got from Watson's. And trinay ko lang siya kasi I have this galing Natural Republic. And we all know that Natural Republic is kind of expensive. But I have a moisturizer na hindi spray from Natural Republic. But nakita ko kasi to like so trinay ko to and I think as you can see February as in every day ko talaga siya ginagamit just because nakaka-refresh siya ng face although I don't use makeup every day tas pagka kunwari lalabas ako and after ko tanggalin yung mga oil sa skin ko I mean sinespray ko to sa mukha ko and it really refreshes your face buong araw and it has, yeah, it has aloe vera. We know aloe vera is very good to our skin. It is a good um, skincare sa atin, ang aloe vera. Lalo na sa mga sensitives ang skin. Katulad ako, yun nga sinasabi ko na sensitive yung skin ko. So, I don't really put on makeups na kung ano-ano or moisturizer na kung ano-ano. Because may mga matatapang na it really doesn't work for me. And may mga natural, yun nga, mga organic or natural lang na mga Moisturizer yung gumagana sa akin. <laughs> so, meron akong dalawang libro. I really want this na gusto ko share sa inyo. And this is the Lifestyle Blogging Basics that I got from Amazon. And Healing the Soul of a Woman from Amazon too. Pahilig talaga ako mag-purchase ng book sa Amazon because everything there is complete. I mean, nagre-restock talaga sila doon. Lahat ng mga To All the Boys na series ko na tatlong book ko is doon ko kinuha kasi naghintay talaga ako na magkaroon sila ng stock. Kasi dito sa Philippines, yung pinalabas yun to all the boys I love. Wala kasi ako nung book noon. Meron lang akong e-book noon. And I really want to have yung pinaka uh, hard bound na copy ng book. And, uh, and super super friendly yung mga workers to on sa Amazon kasi you can really talk to them. Kung wari overseas ka, they really want to chat with you. Magtichat sila kung may problema ba with the delivery or something. So you can contact them anytime. And since then, dun ako nagpapurchase sa lahat ng mga books na gusto ko sa Amazon sa US pa. But ito, pinakita ko na to sa inyo sa November favorites ko, yung vlogmas ko. Pero nag-stop kasi ako gawa ng I have school and it's really hard for me to read book tapos may school pa ako. Kasi if I want to read a book, gusto ko talaga iti-take time ko talaga siya and I really want to understand word per word, sentence by sentence. Gusto talaga ma-understand lalo na yung mga pang-life na mga books, yung it really can help you. And na-stop siya. And na continue ko lang siya this February. So really trying na basahin siya every single day. Every single day may isa akong chapter na babasahin so that matatapos ko na siya agad. So ngayon ko lang siya na continue and ngayon ko lang siya naging favorite ulit. And this is The Healing the Soul of a Woman by Joyce Meyer. And it's really a good book because I believe na every woman has napaka emotional lang mga women right and really helps you na if you're wounded lalo na sa soul natin kasi yun yung emotion soul yung emotions natin de ba we have our wounds and it this book really helped me lalo na yung mga stage na um, I have emotional wounds not just in a relationship but also in life in everything in my uh, in my school. And I believe ito din nakatulong sa akin yung book na din to. Lalo na sa emotional wounds ko. Like, nahirapan ako sa school or hindi lang siya basta relationship. But sa mga school ko din, sa life ko din, it really helped me nung binasa ko to. Because I believe na every woman is very emotional. Na talagang hindi natin, as in, binubuhos talaga lahat ng mga 
uh, nararamdaman natin sa puso ko. And this book really helped me. Then, although God talaga nag-help sa akin sa emotional wounds ko, but this book also reminded me how you are loved, you are special. I mean, kahit anong wounds pa, um, basta everything in this book. If you want to purchase it, the links are down below. So, yeah. And another thing is that this one na uh, kaka purchase ko lang in the month of February but I really love um basahin tong book from Laura Lynn. I believe she is a famous blogger and kung hindi niyo pa alam, I have a personal blog which ito talaga yung pangarap ko mula bata ko kasi I really love writing. I mean, I really love sharing my life to you sharing yung experience ko personal experience ko and natandaan ko noon yung nag nag-aral ako sa Brazil yun talaga naka-help sa akin yung pagsusulat ko about my feelings kasi I really write diary until now I love to write in my diary how I feel how nangyari ngayon and I really want to share then sa mga tao and to help other people also. It really helped me kasi dun nga sa mga personal experiences ko na others can relate. So, dun talaga. So, nag-decide tala ako, nag ako this year to have my personal blog. And, uh, yun, itong book na to, it is the lifestyle of blogging basics as you can see. Ayan siya. And this is and this is a how-to for investing yourself, working with brands, and cultivating a community around your blog. Since bago lang ako sa blogging world, I really want to have knowledge about it. Na hindi lang ako basta nagpo-post. Like I really have to do pala working with brands. I mean, I have to like put it out sa social media ko. Hindi siya magiging known if hindi ko siya inano sa social media. Something like that. So it really helped me. Nagbigay sa akin ng knowledge about it, about blogging it. I must say na ngayon wino workout ko siya since I will be graduating this year and I really want to work it out my personal blog. I really want to share with you not just for myself but for all of you guys out there who's reading it. Na you want to know about me and then I want to know about you. So dun ko sa personal blog talaga ipopost lahat lahat and uh, maybe some of my videos hindi ko siya mapopost sa YouTube but mapopost ko siya sa personal blog so go guys check out my blog links are down below the next one I have I have two bags na favorite ko from the month of February and the first bag is this black and red bag and kung hindi niyo kilala favorite ko talaga ang red at black as you can see in the background my bed is red and black and white kasi yun talaga yung favorite color ko. And nagustuhan ko siya kasi this is just an everyday bag for me. Yun nga lang, madami kasi akong gamit laging dinadala. So, pagka malapit lang na lugar, ito talaga yung ginagamit ko. And it is a sling bag. Ayan, ito lang siya. And uh, if you open it, mayroon siyang dalawang uh, zipper na pwede mong lagay yung things mo dyan. And meron din siyang zipper sa labas. Ayan. Ayan. Ayan lang. And I bought this sa Landmark. I really forgot yung price niya. But if you guys want to check this out, go to Landmark sa Festival Mall. Madami doong mga bags na super ganda. Madami din clothes na super ganda. At ito, dun ko lang din to nakita sa Landmark. So, wala siya talagang uh, brand name is just from Landmark. And last and final thing that I've got from the month of February is this bag from Decathlon. And masasabi ko na everyday ko tong ginagamit na backpack kasi naghahanap ako ng small bag na hindi masyadong stylish, hindi masyadong girlish, hindi din masyadong boyish. And this is the right, right bag. This is the perfect bag for everyday talaga. And Dito ko lang din sa Decathlon, sa Festival Mall, kasi bago lang bukas this year. And it's only 150 pesos, guys. 150 pesos. I mean, super mura na siya. And it has two compartments where you can 
have your things here. Sorry, may gamit kasi to kasi kakagamit ko lang na to. But it has a two compartments and maluwag siya. And if you carry something big, hindi siya heavy dalhin. Like, I put my iPad here. I put my camera here at all the same time. And pag kinikarry ko siya, hindi siya ganun ka-heavy. Kasi diba may mga bags na parang heavy na nga yung gamit, heavy pa yung bag. So, doble-doble yung heaviness sa bag mo. But this one, this is just a lightweight. And if you put something really heavy, it's not that heavy so much pag kinary mo siya. And it's like everyday mo siya pag babiyahe ka, gusto mong madami kang dala. This is the right bag for me. And I believe so. And next time, habakit ako sa inyo what's in my backpack this year then. So, go guys, just check that out. Siguro i-update ko yung what's in my backpack ko kasi sobrang tagal ko na ata yung video yung what's in my backpack ko. So guys, thank you guys for watching my favorites in the month of February. And I really hope na sunod-sunod ko na to gawin every month. Kasi usually, I really don't buy anything some every month so medyo mahihirapan ako if every month so pag-iisipan ko pa rin siya but anyways thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe this channel so all my social media accounts are down below please do check them out please do follow them so that i will be connected with you guys you'll be connected with me if you have any questions and concerns in my life or in my youtube life or in everything so just Follow me on my social media accounts and also my blog. My blog post is down below. The link of my blog post is down below. So go guys, check that out. And thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope to see you, see you again in my next one. So God bless guys. And remember, you are loved. Bye-bye.